this experiment we first have a laser diode the wavelength of this laser is about uh, 530 nanometers after this we have a polarizer and this polarizer will be connected here and the next we have a electromagnet with the glass rod we have to connect this electromagnet with the constant current power supply so i have connected this here with the constant current power supply next we have a analyzer and after that we have a photo detector which is connected to this measuring unit so these are the things which we require for this experiment firstly we require a um, laser diode we require a polarizer we require an electromagnet with the rod which is connected to the constant current power supply we require a analyzer a photo diode with the measuring unit so now we have uh, switched on the laser diode so this laser diode should pass through this electromagnet and should fall on this photo detector should fall exactly on the pin hole of this photo detector we have to adjust this laser in such a way that this detector give the maximum reading as you can see which is 34.3 here 34.3 milliamperes first you have to do it in uh, microamperes then you have to change the knob to milliampere and you have to adjust this in such a way that uh, the laser pass through this electromagnet and fall on this pin hole of the photo detector and you should get the maximum reading here after getting maximum reading you have to place this polarizer here when you will place the polarizer it will slightly affect your reading so as you can see previously it was a 33.4 something and now it's 27.5 now we will place the analyzer between this electromagnet and the photo detector so as you can see this will affect your uh, photo diode already it is now 6.1 so we have to take it to the minimum so for taking this to minimum we will rotate this analyzer uh, as you can see i am rotating this and the reading is now zero at the detector so i will now adjust uh, uh, switch the knob to the micro ampere side and uh, i will continue doing this minimizing so it's now currently 102 i have to take this to zero it's 18 now it's 16 you can see here the minimum reading which i have obtained is 4.2 so now i have uh, switched on the power supply and here we have the minimum reading uh, first i'll show you the observation table so the first column we have of current so we will increase the current in the steps of 0 0.5 the second column is theta this theta is the angle of this analyzer this theta is the angle of this analyzer it's here in degrees we have to convert it into minutes and note it down here the third column is theta minus theta naught the theta naught is our first reading the theta naught is our first reading the fourth column is b that is equals to n times uh, pi times i n is the number of coil i is the current which we will give to the constant current power supply and pi is 3.14 now n you can calculate n simply by this formula so the number of term, terms per unit that is n will be equals to the number of coil that is 2508 upon the length of coil that is 15 centimeter so the number of turn per unit length that is n will be equals to 167.21 centimeter so the value of n will be 167.2 centimeter pi is 3.14 and i you will give to the constant current power supply next column we have v that is verdict constant which is equal to theta upon l into b now this l is not the length of the coil it's not the length of the coil it's the length of the glass rod with it which is 10 centimeter don't confuse it with the length of the coil it's the length of the glass rod which is 10 centimeter these data are given by the makers okay so you have seen the observation table in the first column we have current which will supply to the constant current power supply uh, next we have theta which is the angle of the analyzer third column we have theta minus theta naught where theta naught is the first reading for the zero ampere of current in the fourth column we have b magnetic field which is equals to pi times n times i 
and the last column we have verdict constant v which is equals to theta upon l times b for the zero ampere of current when the photodetector reading is minimum i have to check the angle of the analyzer i have to check the angle of the analyzer and note down it before noting it down we have to convert it into minutes by multiplying it with 60 so i have already multiplied the angle of the analyzer with 60 and the theta that is the angle of the analyzer i obtained was 18624 here everything remaining will be zero for the next reading i have to increase the constant current power supply in the steps of 0 0.5 So as you can see, the photodetector reading is also increasing with the increase in current. Now again we have to adjust the angle of the analyzer so that the photodetector reading become minimum. So you, as you can see the photodetector reading is now minimum that is 1.1 microampere. One thing you should not forget that this knob should be on microampere side, side, it should not be on the milliampere side. If you can obtain zero on this photodetector, it's even better. And if not possible, then you can go with the minimum reading. I have got 1.1. So now we have to check the angle on the analyzer. So you have to note down the angle on the analyzer and convert it in minutes by multiplying it by 60. I have already done this and I got the angle of analyzer that is theta equals to 18720 in the second column we have theta minus theta naught that is second reading minus the first reading i will subtract 18720 with 18624 i got 96 that is my theta minus theta naught in the third column we have to calculate the magnetic field and we will do uh, with the help of this formula pi and i pi is 3.14 n is 167.2 i is 0 0.5 for the second reading and the b which i have got is 262.5 now we will calculate the verdict constant so verdict constant can be calculated by the given formula which is v is equals to theta upon l times b so i will show you v is equals to theta so theta which i have got here is 96 we have to take this theta that is theta minus theta naught so 96 upon l we, we should not confuse this l with the length of the coil this l is not the length of the coil it's the length of the glass rod with which is 10 centimeter so i will put here 10 centimeter multiply by b magnetic field which i got 262.5 i will solve this and I will get 0 0.036 which I have already noted down here. For the second reading, I have to increase the current in the step of 0 0.5. I will take it to the 1 ampere. As you can see the corresponding photodetector reading is increasing. Now again we have to repeat same. I will adjust this analyzer so that I get the minimum reading on the photodetector. If it's zero it's well and good. If not try to get the minimum reading. The minimum reading which I am getting on the photodetector is 2.9. It's 1.9. So for 1.9 reading on the photodetector we have to note down the theta that is angle on the analyzer. We, have, we will note down this angle and multiply it by 60 to convert it in minutes and that is 18816 I have already noted down here and again we will repeat the same we will subtract this reading that is 18816 with our first reading which is 186 18624 I got 192 again we will calculate the magnetic field with this formula B is equals to pi and i magnetic field i got here is 525 again we will calculate the verdict constant using this formula theta v is equals to theta upon l time b theta here is 192 l is 10 and b is 525 
I have calculated I and I got 0 0.037. We have to repeat the same procedure for all the readings. We will get different verdict constant here and after that we have to take the average of all. I have taken the mean and I got the average value as 0 0.035 minute per orister centimeter. You can obtain the same result with the graph also. In the graphical method you will place this theta minus theta naught on your y axis and this magnetic field on your x axis. After that you will calculate the slope, you will get some slope. So for getting the verdict constant by graphical method you have to simply divide the slope by length that is 10 cm. So V is equals to slope upon L. Slope is 0.4 which you can calculate using the graph and the L is 10. So by graph I got the verdict constant as 0.04 minutes per arrested centimeter. So this was all about the Faraday effect.